Hey everybody, this is Pizestrova coming to you with a very unique video. Um, I call this video the challenge of Patton. Why? Have you ever wanted and wondered if it's even possible to reach Champions League and stay there or manage to actually stay in Champions League once you get there with an old school robot like Patton. This robot, much like Vidya's, Golem, Boa, many of the old school light robots, um, don't have any special abilities and no modules. I mean, they, they are allowed pilots with weapons, but no, no special abilities and no modules. So is it even, many rookies I'm sure probably wonder, is it even possible to reach Champions League with these old robots? Well, this video is gonna show you. Um, just making one point clear though, in order to reach the higher leagues with such a robot in your hangar, you need certain things. You need the right weapons, very leveled up, at least level 10. You need a pilot with certain types of skills. No ordinary skill from the robot will do. I mean, you have to have the right skills. Let me show you what I got. That's right. Mechanic, sharpshooter, and adamant roadhog. Um, now, I, you probably noticed the level of my weapons and my ro robot pattern. Well, you're also wondering, I'm sure you're probably wondering, asking yourself, what the heck is this guy talking about? can't make it to Champions League with a old robot like that. You're going up against, I'm, I'll be facing off against Ares and all the other Patton ro Pantheon robots, Dragon robots like Aujun, the, um, all the, the new meta robots and new meta weapons. Yeah, I know. That's why it's called the challenge of Patton. You know, when it comes to Scourge and the lockdown weapons, and weapons that are energy based, that's what this weapon is for. Some people call it ECU, some people call it ECU, some, well, I prefer to call it ECU. Hopefully Pixonic will clarify this in one of their live streams. I know I actually asked them to do so in one of my test server videos. Um, why would I choose Gust with an Eku shield on my pen? The shield is to protect me from Scourge and Lockdown weapons and everything else any given time. This robot is not fast like a Blitz. It's not special abilities like Blitz or Loki or anything else. It's an old school robot. In order to make it to the higher leagues, you really have to know how to use this robot. You actually need real skill. And I'm not talking pilot skills like this thing has, this pilot has. I'm talking real skill and knowing how to use this. That's why Pixonic left these in the lower leagues. These are for these are for uh, rookie level type players. But the thing is, when I was in Diamond League, I used to see these things all the time. 
now that I'm in the higher leagues, you rarely see these robots being used. Only players that use them can't let them go because of how much they love them. I love Patton. I actually, when I started playing this game, I couldn't wait to get my hands on this robot to have this paint skin I have on it, Samurai. Well, now that I'm in the higher leagues, I did use other robots to get to the to the Champions League, but I kept falling back down into Master League One. Well, now, now that I've actually been to Champions League at least two times, I decided why not just level up my older weapons like pinatas <clears throat> and once I get my final pinata leveled up to maximum which is a set of four I'm trying to c collect and save four of every weapon in the game because certain robots can hold four weapons that's the maximum of weapons Patton Blitz can both hold four <clears throat> of any light weapon um, even Jesse, certain medium, certain robots can hold four medium weapons like Doc and Spectre, and certain robots can hold even four heavy weapons like Butch and the new one, Behemoth. So, that's why I'm collecting four of every kind. So, the, the burning question is, since I have this patent in my hangar, is it even possible to make it to Champions League? That's what this video is going to show you. Um, now, when I actually put my patent in my hangar, I did not expect the end results of what this video is going to show you. Um... I didn't expect it at all, but I'm glad I did because I was so focused on leveling up my weapons and so focused on getting the experience points to get all these prizes in the Operation Storm thing that I didn't even focus on what was going on in the battle. I just remembered my skills how to use Patton in battle. You can't rush into battle, you can't go charging into things with this robot. You have to be very technical and use cover <coughs> to protect yourself at all times. You have to learn how to corner shoot most of the time. I'd say 95% of the time just to protect yourself because of all the much more powerful robots and weapons out there. But the thing is, is you can use the right weapons to really support your team when it counts. This robot teaches you how not only to use cover, but how to support your team when it comes to firepower. And when your team sees you're in trouble, I've experienced it so many times, they come to your aid because they know that a teammate needs you, needs help, which is someone using a patent. I've had so many rope players using um, Ares. They actually use their shield to protect me, thereby using my firepower from this robot as an additional firepower to their own. You don't believe me? Try it out sometime. With all this being said, let's get down to showing you everything I'm talking about. Oh, I almost forgot something. As you can see, I still have my mender in my hangar. 
in my pattern, of course. Sharpshooter, Mechanic, and Admin Roadhog. Those are the three skills I chose. Why Mechanic? Helps you stay in battle longer. Why Sharpshooter? That way you can, uh, select the old saying, and my, um, Raven, Death Button Raven. I've been working on a Mac, my pinatas and maxing out four of them. Sharpshooter on Gust on my patent, though. That's to help with long range. And my Mercury. Oh. And yes, I've only got one battle left to be able to qualify to be back in Champions League. You wanna know the um, chances of me getting there? It's pretty good because I've got 41 points above that. Anyway, the pilot skill mechanic is to help you stay in battle longer. The pilot skill sharpshooter with my gust has helped me to do better aim and get more damage against my opponents, which definitely, it's like the old saying, um, greatest defense is usually an even greater offense. I'd say the limit of negative points are actually 22 or something, so it's a good, it's a good chance.
if it's possible to make it to Champions League with a patent in your hangar. I just showed you proof. Um, is it easy to stay in Champions League with any robot? No. That's why you need to level up those weapons, at least. Granted, I have lost my chances of being in Champions League at least two times, but hopefully this third time will be the charm and I'll end up sticking there. Um, but yeah, as far as patent is concerned, and any other robot that's like it with no special ability and no modules, it is possible if you just don't rush it, find the right weapons for it, level those weapons up, and the pilot skills, I would start with mechanic, and depending on the weapon, if you're going to add gust, like a weapon like gust, use sharpshooter. Um, as far as anything else, just use your best judgment on the rest of the, the skills. Because those skills are going to help you to really get through it and survive in battle. Because with a robot like Patton in the higher leagues, it's not about damage. It's how well you can survive in the higher leagues with such a robot in your hangar. That's why I call this the challenge of Patton. As you can see, I uh, actually I had on the opposing team, I had a few clansmen I was going up against, so yeah. Anyway, please leave a like, please leave a comment down below. Please do consider subscribing and hit that notification button for more videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.